Hey guys, today I have with me the JBL Endurance Peak 2 earbuds, and I've had them for a couple of days now. Um, I really like them so far, and, and especially now that I've gotten kind of used to them. So the case is a little fatter than probably AirPods would be if you're used to those, um, just to kind of give a frame of, of description for those that are visually impaired or blind that might consider these. Um, so the Endurance Peak 2, there's a button on the case to open it and they just kind of sit in the case, which is nice. And it's one of the things that I really liked when I first got them is the, the ear tip that goes in your ear, it sits nicely in the slot. And so does the part that goes around your ear to hold it in because they're designed for workouts and exercise. So that's why I got them was the part that goes around your ear is um, nice. It fits very nicely once you're um, once you have them in your ears and there's a magnet that connects the part that goes around your ear to the actual earbud and it kind of um, puts itself back together when they're out of your ears and you put them back in the case um, and then it just closes so um, to actually pair the device to something you would tap once and then tap twice and then hold for five seconds and you'll hear uh, a tone to help you know that it's pairing and then you should see it in the list of devices in Bluetooth on your phone or a smartwatch or whatever you're pairing it to. Um, if you're listening to music, the left AirPod, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm used to uh, that, but the earbud, if you tap it once, it'll skip forward a song and then if you double tap, it'll go back a song. And then the right ear, uh, the right earbud, if you touch it once, it'll stop a song, it'll pause it, and then if you tap it again, it'll resume it. And if you double tap, that'll summon your voice assistant. So if you have Google Assistant with Android or Siri with iPhone, it, it'll summon them. And there's also a swipe gesture on your right earbud and if you swipe one way the volume will increase and the other way it'll decrease so that's kind of nice too um i think they sound great um there's some bass and i like the bass because i think during a workout sometimes you need songs with like up maybe some upbeat stuff but if there's some bass it kind of helps you endure through your workout and stuff push you a little bit um i, re I really like that um something to know um you have to know what ear tip will fit best for you to seal off your ear because when i first got these um earbuds um i we, I put them in my ears and I noticed how quiet they were and then I showed my boyfriend and we turned the volume up loud and there was like no bass and they just sounded super quiet like they like they were either broken or cheaply made but I knew that wasn't probably the case because um, JBL makes good stuff and like uh, I have one of their uh, Bluetooth speakers and I've seen like the I the one I have is on the smaller side But it still sounds great and the bigger ones are usually they sound really good also So I, I knew that the headphones couldn't sound crappy or anything <laughs> so um he Ended up switching it to the medium ear tip because there was the small ones Because um, they came with the largest ones on there and then he switched them so that's d definitely uh, make sure that you're using the right one to seal off your ears. That's why they give you three different kinds, like the small, medium, and large, so you can figure it out. Um, because, you know, and, and most um, earbuds now that have the ear tip do that. Um, so don't assume right away that there's something wrong with the earbuds because that's what it was. And I'm, I'm glad I didn't have to send them back and there was a happy ending there. Um, and when they... When they're in my ears, it's kind of like a twisty motion. Um, once you set it in there and you put the 
the part that goes around your ear and you just kind of twist it a little bit right just to make sure it's like fit in there good and snug because that's where you get all the the sound that comes out of the earbud itself and um, so it's it's snug in there when you're when you're running if you're jogging or running or something um, and when I used them yesterday for a run um, th- they were very secure I didn't have any issues with them um, if I I do have a habit of touching them to make sure that they do not fall out of my ears just because um, others have or they feel like they're about to because you know you kind of get sweaty you know and stuff so uh but with these um I so when I was touching them I kept on accidentally pausing the song and I thought that something was going on with my bluetooth connection but it was just me touching the earbud and accidentally pausing the music so um when you touch the ear pot the the ear uh the earbud make sure you just touch like the outer edge like if you want to make sure it's in your ear gut or something that way you won't like accidentally pause or play or something the the song or or skip back a track because that could happen also on the left ear pod since it's all touch you know um which is which is nice i i think i would rather it than than buttons i think um and then the charger is kind of on the short side but it's um, this and i know that these earbuds the endurance peak 2 come in black white and blue and i got the blue ones um so yeah um i really am happy with them and um i won't be sending them back and they're they're not expensive as some um earbuds are they're 99 dollars so um you know, there's obviously cheaper ones out there, but, um, yeah, so I hope that you like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Show captured. Stop recording.